Hey guys, it's Mysopods and more with me. I hope everything's going well with you and you're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love. I'm not feeling the best at the moment. I'm just having a rough several days and a couple sleepless nights, but I'm trying to stay positive and this is definitely going to help. And as I say, I measure my life in moments and the good thing about that is good or bad moments pass. In this case, it's good because this is not my best moment and it will pass and everything will be awesome and great. So I'm very excited to get into this unboxing of material and stuff. So I'm not going to spoil too much in this part from Russ at Aquarimax. Russ is awesome. If you don't know Russ, again, you're welcome because you're going to be amazed. If you know Russ, you know how awesome he is, how great he is. And I don't probably need to say this, but I, well, I do need to thank you, Russ. But for everyone aside from Russ, um, He's awesome. He was very helpful tracking this package. Similar to my last unboxing, USPS decided that this guy's getting some really neat isopods, so we're going to keep it an extra day. So this is a late, and this is another late package, but again, um, it's in spite of all of the proactive measures and the information and the activity that Russ has been doing. So um, thank you for that. Thank you for keeping me informed and the follow-up and then thank you for what we're about to dive into Let's hop into this. I hope everything's going well with you. You're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love and let's do some unboxing I know this is not what you probably came for, but I want to get this part out of the way, and I want to, again, thank Russ for, well, my isopods, but also like to thank you, Russ, for this leaf litter. Oh, that looks so nice. And then, boom, another, sorry about that bump bump, two bags of some substrate. We are going to be putting this to good use very, very soon. Now let's get to the good stuff. Hello everybody. Are you ready? Because I am. I'm very, I'm kind of um, nervous and anxious about this, but also <laughs> incredibly excited. And that's because I ordered i did something i don't normally do one i ordered online again russ at aquarimax this is worth it additionally yep residual warmth there still but additionally i ordered well i know one that i ordered and i have another mystery group so i don't know what the other one is you probably have a look at it. I'm at the side, so I can't really see. And I'm going to avoid it for now, visually, and focus on these guys. I'm going to open them and show them off a little in a moment. But I hope you can see what's in there. Maybe get a better view. There. Oh, actually. <laughs> there we go. Now, a little bit of context here. Those of you who have been with the channel may know that I have a group of clowns who also have some friends in there, dwarf whites, who I, dwarf whites, I call them dwarf whites to be offensive, I don't like it, dwarves, but, well, dwarves in fantasy, to be clear, I'm a sci-fi nerd and, and fantasy nerd and I've always never liked dwarves, but they decided to show up in my clown bin. So what I did was, with the substrate I bought from Russ last time, set up a bin that's been sitting and waiting. And I'm going to drop these guys in there along with the oldies from my other bin that I'm going to take out, hopefully in all in one video. We'll see how this all works. Now that you know what these guys are, I'm gonna put them down. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I'm not gonna read it yet. Let's take a look. I don't see anything. You guys see anything in there? Just a bunch of frass. No. <laughs> I am very now again, I'm before I look at what this is, 
I'm always nervous about mystery pods in the capacity of I don't know if my bin is set up perfectly for them ideally or what the ideal you know parameters for these guys are and so that's very exciting so oh, I, I'm trying to get a good look are they Cubaris? let's see alright Oh, it is a mystery, so I don't know how I'm going to remedy this, but what I'm going to do is stop this video, and we're going to start with these mystery pods. I'm excited. We will be right back. So this is my mystery pod, and this is the bin they're going to be going in. So let's get a closer look. They're kind of at the top, so I want to move I can be a little mindful because I don't want them coming out and falling out. Here you can see <laughs> they are already coming out and curious. Oh, I felt one go in. One's on me somewhere. So, I think these are <laughs> Armadillidium Nazadum, I believe. Now I'm not sure. Oh, another one went. <laughs> um, if these are an albino, or I think I've seen like pearl arctics, but those are just across different species, and that guy is tickling me under my arm. I gotta check that out real quick. <laughs> I'm going to put this here for a second and get this bubba off of me. As much as it's kind of actually fun. I'm trying to find my thingamajig. I can't find it at the moment. on that for me there we go I don't know how many of those were climbing out in my absence but there's my admirer you're back on me again <laughs> all right let's put you yeah there you go so I am just already fascinated by the color of them on the substrate. Um, I'm going to see. Oh, there goes another one. I didn't notice, actually. I'm not sure if you could point out what is... Th that one just looks a little different in terms of the color. And... I don't know if it's a molting. Oh, another one. I'm going to start taking these out because they're all jumping out at me. I'm sorry. I'm fascinated and a little uncomfortable by how close they are to that top. But let's... No? All right. Kind of start pulling. I don't know if it should. Okay, cool. It's coming out. Well, I'm going to leave that there in the moist side. For now and I may actually turn that over nothing left in the cup but I'm actually uh, one more time I have I'm debating if I should open this up yeah open that a little Couple more hanging out there for you. Thank you so much, Russ. And again, I I'm watching them crawl around. I'm already fascinated by these guys. 
And as I always mention, I have not had time to actually, as I like to do, spend time looking at my guys, watching them eat and go around and all that. So I'm most excited about that. I'm going to leave this going for just a moment more. And then I'll probably show some footage after I remove them all from there. And then go on to my clown cleanup day. In fact, what I maybe am thinking about doing, I'm not sure right now, is doing the clown unboxing as a separate video, but I'll see how that turns out with the time, because I think that will be longer as I not only need to pull the other clowns out, I need to then put all of them together. So if that is the case, and I'm going to be doing that as a separate video. I'm going to leave this going for a bit with probably some music as I want to do. But I hope everything's going well with you and you're taking care of yourselves and the ones you love. And at this point, we're either going to go to play with those clowns or end this video and go easy.
Alright guys, this is going to be part one of what I'm doing with my clowns. This is their bin. It's a little bit larger than it should be for a starter colony, but this is not necessarily a starter colony. These are the clowns that I got from Russ, and I'm going to be putting in my existing ones. So let's pop the top. These guys are a little bit more reserved and not as rambunctious as those Nazatoms that were literally running out of the bin at me. Those patterns, and I wanted to see if I can about the white or yellow. I forget which is which in terms of the Montenegro. Or Dubrovnik, I have to look that up a little more. Mine have yellow, so if these ones appear to be the white stripes, I may have a mix. Should be interesting. I'll check that when I pop open that next bin. These guys seem a little chill, so I'm going to try not to disturb them as much. There's actually a few in the bottom on this one. So I'm going to try and pull this out, leave it. And Sorry, guys. Throw that here in the moist area. None in the cup. Leave that there for a bit. Let some of them crawl on out. I was mentioning in the prior part of this video that I may do this in separate instances, and I believe because of everything I have going on today and then having to go get my kids from school soon enough what I'm gonna do is drop these guys in here and then likely tomorrow maybe this evening no, we have that basketball game so likely tomorrow um, I will try to get my old clowns out from those dwarf whites but I want to be just a little mindful of that make sure with my luck that there's not some dwarf white crawling on a clown as I put it in there because I'm not moving any material at all from that bin so I may do that likely tomorrow or this weekend, but I'm going to do it at my own pace. I need to take a little break and take things easy, as, as eager and excited as I am to do this. And the good news about waiting is if I find the time and the energy, I can always just go ahead and do it. Look at that little guy cruising. So we'll play around with these guys a little more. I'll leave this here. Then again, as the prior video, I'll show some after shots once they're settled in, assuming they don't all scurry for the substrate and we'll leave it at that. Go easy. Oh, yes. Some rad coloring. Ooh. Come on guys. Are you too good for your home? Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Let me take the paintbrush in a little bit and do some butt bonking with them to get them going, but I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to walk away for about two or three minutes. When I come back, I'm going to stop it, put them in, and then do that after shot. Go ahead. 